Hi, so in video 1097, we made this thing, which is our Dynapod frame. It's based on a 70s design, actually. And yes, the 70s wasn't great at coming up with names, but that's what they called it. And it was meant to be the Swiss Army knife of pedal power. Now, the argument is, if you connect a dynamo straight to this, and you could do that, you could just bolt in a generator and pack, create some electricity, use that electricity to run your machinery, what happens is you're losing 70% of the available energy. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what they say. If we could connect directly to mechanical output and use that mechanical output rather than the intermediary of the electricity, then we regain that 70%. And I thought that was an awesome argument. So this was meant to have an output shaft where you could bolt on different bits and pieces to do different jobs. And that's a really interesting idea because although people are making pedal powered machinery, you tend to find it does one specific job. So that idea of a multifunctional pedal powered unit really appealed to me and that's why we've been making it. Now obviously we need to take our input, which is our legs on this here, to our output. And to do that, we need to up the revolutions. That's it, brothers. And to do that, we need a gear set. Now, if you looked at video 1097, you'll have seen the drawing, and that drawing has a lot of uh, shafts and pulleys and cogs, and it's not too complicated. It's only a couple of input and output shafts. However, if you watch video 1085, we used this thing, which is a chunk out of an exercise bike, to make an electricity generator by gluing some toothed belt onto the flywheel, and we used that. Now that already has all those marvellous gear ratios in there, plus, because it's an exercise bike, it's got this, and I have a spare crank set, so that will go there. And we have a little cog here, and we have a big cog here, so we can put a chain between those two, and when we pedal, that output turns like crazy, and because that's a tooth belt, we can put another tooth belt over it to create an output drive. So the whole of the drive system is contained in one piece. Now that's brilliant. So if you've got something like this, this would be the thing to use, I think. If you don't have something like this, then obviously you're going to be making a gear chain and cog set, which is not too difficult to do. The other advantage of this is it's already got a flywheel in there, so that's brilliant. So all we really need to do is use this bit of exercise bike that we've chopped out and basically weld it in place there, which is exactly what we're going to do. Okay, now we've got our marvellous cheap gears on there. All we've actually got to do is join them up with a bit of chain, so let's do that. OK, and there it is attached, and if I give that a bit of a pedal... You can see how slowly I'm pedalling and how quickly that's turning, OK? So we've got two options on taking off the drive. We've got a spare point here that we can connect something to, and then we've got this point here that we previously put the tooth belt on. So either of those is going to be good for taking the drive off, and that drive mechanism, as we say, it, we get the gear ratio that we want, so we get a high speed here for a low speed there. So now we've got the frame done, we've got the transmission done, we've got one output point, which is the one-to-one, on gear ratio and now we want to make the other output point the idea is it's multifunctional so that should be somewhere comfortable so what we need is a table in order to make that tabletop what I've got are some of these things this is industrial shelving that I found in the skip ages ago and what I'm going to do is saw it up weld it together and make that tabletop to take those final output points
Okay, so there's the basic Dinopod finished. Now, I basically used bits and pieces I had lying around, but of course you can buy this stuff, the plumber's blocks, sorry, the pillow blocks, the pulleys, the axles, they can all be bought. I used um, pulleys because I had them available, but I could have used these things, obviously. These are the railer sets from rear wheels and you can make the whole thing chain. There's just such a lot of variety here you could do. It really very much depends on you and what it is that you want to do. Now there's no flywheel on this thing, but we could add a flywheel if we wanted for sure. Remember there are three points at which this energy comes off. The energy is you obviously. The bottom point in the axle is a one to one ratio and you might want to do something like stick a generator on there. So if you had one of those lovely washing machine motors for instance, one of the new brushless ones, would be a great place to stick a generator. There's a pillow, a, a pulley block right here just underneath. Obviously you could take from that pulley block and run other bits and pieces with it. And this one is here because we can use this to run those small machines at the worktop height. So things like uh, a grinder for instance or something like that and we'll be making bits we can put onto here and see how it actually does. But that is the Dynapod from the 1977 and actually I really think it's kind of cool. Anyway, let's give it a spin up and see what it actually does. some attachments for this but I hope you enjoyed the videos I hope you enjoyed the build and thank you very much for watching